Hey everyone, welcome to the daily message. I hope you guys are doing good. Whew, I'm tired today. I am tired today. Maybe you guys are feeling tired too. But let's get into it. Let's get into it. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Because I post new videos every day. I should turn on the light here. Oh, that's much, much better. Alright, let's see what's going on today. Oh my god, I have cat hair all over my face. So I was just holding my cat and now my face itches. Okay. Let's see what's going on today. Oh. 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 Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I'm seeing two stories literally right away. We have a new person coming in for some people. And for other people, we have someone coming in for more cycles, but not necessarily a full-on wonderful relationship, okay? So we have the Knight of Cups. You could be receiving a love offer from a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. And then we have the Hermit Reverse, Virgo Energy. <sighs> then we have the Death Reverse, Scorpio Energy. With someone here who's coming out of the woodworks, someone here who's been hiding out for a little bit, going within, self-reflecting maybe. Maybe not self-reflecting since we have the death reverse. The death reverse is someone who doesn't want to change. There's a resistance here to change. But we have someone coming forward. <laughs> Be careful. And then we have the fool and the page of pentacles reversed. It's a brand new beginning, but they have nothing to offer. <laughs> like... I'm sorry. That's just what I'm getting. If you're dealing with a past person, there's a new beginning here, but there's there's not much to offer. Yeah, it's a new beginning, but it's risky. It's really, really, really risky. Sometimes the fool speaks of like good risks, like taking risks on yourself. But this is like taking a risk on something that you know has like a dead end to it. The death reverse here, this person doesn't want to change. Now the person, or the people who are dealing with a new person, or if you get a new person like coming in, it's going to come out of fucking nowhere. And it's going to cause you to run in circles in your brain. And um, it's going to bring up a lot of limiting beliefs that you had in the past. If you've been kind of in your own lane, doing your own thing, not really looking for love, not really dating, not really paying attention to any of that, this is going to bring up a lot of limiting beliefs for you. It's not going to be devastating. It's not going to be devastating. It's not going to be difficult. It's not going to make you sit at home and cry your eyes out. It's not, it's nothing like that. It's just going to, it's just going to bring some stuff up for you. That's all. It's not going to be hard. I mean, it, it might be, it might be. If you have a lot of resistance to it, it's going to be hard. But as long as you face it and recognize it, it's not its not going to be difficult. As for the Fool and the Page of Pentacles, I feel like this is you, like, wanting to have a new beginning with this person, right? And this is people dealing with a new person, okay? If you, if you want to have this new beginning with them or you're kind of interested in them, like, you're kind of pondering that love offer, you know, um... I see you not really wanting to to give anything up here. The Page of Pentacles. I'm surprised the Four of Pentacles isn't here, which is like holding on to stuff. But this is just what I'm feeling, okay? I feel like you're I feel like you're scared of having things taken from you. If you've been very heartbroken in the recent past, like I, I can see why you feel this way. It it feels like You're going to feel really scared to show your true colors. You, you don't really want to give too much up. You don't want to give too much away. It's okay to take things slow, but, you know, it's okay to take risks too. This person is cool, you know. I think it's worth it to get to know them. All right, anything else? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 
Yeah. All right. So for the people who are dealing with someone, we have the Ten of Swords and the Five, five of Pentacles as the overall energy. This is betrayal, feeling left out in the cold. This is someone who broke the fuck out of your heart. I, this is this is terrible. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. You are in your own fucking energy. When this person comes back, I don't know if you're going to accept them back. Because you're like, you were literally the worst. <laughs> you're chilling right now. You're in your own lane. Like, you're making your own money. You're building your business. You're fucking chilling. I don't think you're going to take this person back. Now, for those of you dealing with a new person... There's a desire for you or you, I, I don't know, like you, you don't really want to let anyone in because you've just built this safe space around you. And you know what? If you're not ready to date, you're not ready to date. And that is totally fine. That is, no one is hating on you for that. If you want to be, if you want to be alone for a little bit, if you want to be single, go ahead and be single. Um, it looks like you've built something really, really wonderful for yourself. And it seems like you kind of want to focus on that right now. I think that this love offer is going to bring up a lot of really painful memories for you. And if you're just not ready to let go of that, that's totally fine. But I don't know. Everyone be warned. Either y'all have someone coming back for repeat cycles and you know it's not going to lead any... Oh, not the lovers. Anyway. And then some of you have a new person coming in and you're like, I really don't want to let you into this whole thing that I've built for myself. No fucking thank you. <laughs> so yeah, that is the message for today. Very interesting. Let me know how that goes. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every day. Okay, goodbye.